Hey guys, I hope everyone's having a really good day today. I thought I'd do a quick little video on five tips for actors. So you might be an actor already or you might be wanting to pursue an acting career. Either way, I really hope this video helps you. I'm not an expert, so I'm definitely not here to tell you what to do or what not to do. This is more a video just about your own mindset and your own positivity and your own journey with acting because it can be a really tough career so you have to have a really positive mindset and you have to be able to take criticism and you have to be patient so yeah let's start with step one you need to put yourself out there you need to be online you need to have your headshots done you need to have show reels up get together with friends and practice and film it and not only do you have to put yourself out there on the internet and get yourself an agent and a manager but you need to put yourself out to the universe you need to make the universe clear that this is what you want to do that this is what you're excited about that this is what you've been working for and you need to really believe in yourself that you are good enough to get these auditions you are good enough but you need to know it so once you've done that and you've believed that you're amazing and incredible because you are and you get your first audition or for actors that are already actors maybe your 78th or your 100th audition whatever so you get an audition you obviously practice hard you learn your lines and that's all well and good but you still need to believe you really need to believe that you're good enough and that you are right for this role and if you are right for this role and if it aligns with everything else you'll get the role if it's meant to be you will get the role and you need to know that that when you don't get the role something didn't work out and that's fine you had a great opportunity getting the audition, you got in front of the casting director, and now you just wait for the next one. So once you've done your audition, or your self-tape, whatever it was, you need to let it go. I know it's so hard, it's so much easier said than done, because of course you get this audition you're really excited about, and you do such a good job, and you're like, yep, I've got it, I've got it. Of course you're gonna naturally constantly think about that role, but instead, you need to let it go. If it's meant to happen, it will happen. And if you believe you're good enough, and if you're sending out the right frequencies, the right thing is gonna happen, if you're sending out the right positive vibrations. So, in saying that though, you can be as positive as ever, but if the role isn't for you, and if it's not right for you, you're not gonna get it right now, and that's the only reason why. But the most important thing to do, do that audition, and then let it go. And go with the flow, and be thankful for whatever comes your way. Number two, do not compare yourself to others. Yeah, so comparing yourself to others can be the biggest trap of all because you're going to walk into that audition, you're going to be really prepared, you've learnt your lines, you believe that you're perfect for this role and then you walk in and then all of a sudden there's 10 other girls that might be perfect for that role too and then you realise that they've been auditioning all day or all that week and you're one of 100 girls going for that role. But you can't compare yourself to others because you are different to everyone else and you don't know what the casting director is looking for. You don't know if when you walk into that room they're going to be like, that's exactly what we want. So don't change yourself to be like other people thinking that that might get you the role because it won't. You need to be yourself. You need to 100% be yourself and love you for who you are. Otherwise, you're going to go in there looking shy or not confident. And you need to be confident. You need to be confident in who you are. You need to be confident in what you practiced. And you need to be confident knowing that that role is for you and you go in there doing the best job that you can. And remember, the casting agents want you to do a good job. So when you're feeling really nervous, just think, they want me to do a good job. They're not out to get me, they're not there to judge me, they're there to encourage me to do the best that I can. So stop comparing yourself to other girls or guys. If you're a guy, be yourself because no one else is you. Step three, or pointer three, whatever I'm calling these. I forgot it. Oh, okay, yeah. So step three, don't beat yourself up about it. I should really take my own advice on this one. I mean, it's so natural. You know, you work so hard on something and then you get rejected or you get bad feedback or you get no feedback or just someone else gets the role and you beat yourself up about it. I must have done this wrong. They must have hated me. I should have said this line like this. I should have done this like this. I should have worn that. No, it's nothing to do with that and it's also nothing to do with you. And it's nothing to do with me when I don't get the role. It's just that I wasn't right for the role. And some other girl was, and that's fine, because one day I'm going to be perfect for the role. 
and that's just how it happens. But you can't beat yourself up about it because you did a great job even getting the audition in the first place. So don't beat yourself up about it when you find out someone else gets the role. Move on, wait for the next opportunity and be thankful for the last opportunity. Otherwise, you're not going to attract more opportunities if you're not thankful. Sometimes in this industry, I hear things that make me really sad, like girls doing things that they're really not comfortable with. So number four is don't do things you're not comfortable with. Look, of course you're going to be out of your comfort zone playing another character. You might have to do things that put you out of your comfort zone, but there's a difference with being completely uncomfortable and just putting yourself out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to play roles where you do things that you don't want to do, but there's a line and you will know when that line is. If you are so uncomfortable with something, do not do it. Talk to your agent, talk to your parents, talk to your manager, whoever you can that can help you uh, maybe negotiate or maybe if you just need someone to say no, don't do that because sometimes actors jump at every opportunity. They get really excited that they have an audition but all of a sudden they're getting asked to do these crazy things that they shouldn't be getting asked to do. So I guess what I'm trying to say is be careful because there are a lot of dodgy people out there in every industry um, but also in the acting industry. So when you get an audition do your research, look on IMDB Pro, make sure they're legit and I'm sure they are if you guys have a proper agent and proper manager, they're not going to send you for stuff that isn't legit. But maybe if you're freelance and you're trying to get every audition possible, just be careful and yeah, in auditions especially you should never have to do anything you're uncomfortable with and before you get the role and go on set you should have the whole script to read so you can check it all out and if there's any problems talk to the director or the producer or whoever to sort it out so just don't think that you have to do crazy things to get the role if you don't feel it's right then it's not right get out excuse me so sorry about that big annoying crow so step five is So step five is support each other. It is so normal and natural to get jealous. It is so normal to get jealous and that's just natural. You are gonna get jealous, that's not a bad thing, but you can be jealous and still supportive. So if a friend or a colleague or someone who does the same course as you gets a role that you went for, Support them, be happy for them, and just understand that that role wasn't for you and yours is coming along. I know it can be hard, but you need to find those people that support you back and you support them. Surround yourself with people who lift you up rather than drag you down. And it, it's really important and you'll know when you find those people you know because you'll be happy and you'll feel safe and you'll feel supported. Um, I have a couple of really good acting friends and we get together and we film our auditions together. Uh, we help each other with accents and with lines and it's just so helpful. It's so nice to have that relationship. So find it because there are so many actors out there who would love another actor friend who would actually support them. And same goes for online. If you have uh, an acting Facebook or an acting YouTube page or Vimeo, comment nice things on other actors' videos and statuses and support on there as well. It's not hard at all. And then people are going to support you back and it's a great feeling to have support. That's what you want. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. I know it was a quick one. I just wanted to kind of say some things that I was thinking. It makes me really sad when I see or hear of actors getting really down about not getting auditions or not getting roles. But really it's the right one will come along for you when it's right for you. And it's also all in your mindset. If you're not positive, if you don't believe you're good enough, you're not going to attract the roles. And if you don't try your hardest, you're not going to attract the roles. It's not going to come easy. It's a hard industry, but it's an industry that's worth it. If you believe and if you try, the most perfect role is going to come along for you and it's going to be so exciting. Thanks. Bye.